Welcome back to EU4, where currently it is 1444, and we're going to see what Armenia can do. Can Armenia truly survive in this world, or will it completely collapse? And I gave them extra borders. Uh, I basically just made a circle uh, around this little lake here, and then gave them one extra province in the hopes that they might actually be able to survive. I doubt it though, even when I gave them one extra province, I I don't think it's going to be enough to allow them to survive. They are Christian, just like how they are in real life, technically Coptic, but eh, there's a little difference there. They're going to die anyways. The Ottomans really don't care if you're Muslim or Christian usually, they just rampage. Armenia can still ally some of these more northern guys, but they literally rivaled most of them. Uh, they can maybe ally Georgia, but Georgia is probably going to be looking to reclaim some of their cores because I did take a few of those away from them. QQ is also very angry with them because they took land from some of their vassals. And, well, QQ likes their vassals. They just love them so very much. And this could cause a lot of issues for the true Armenia, because Armenia is already a country I had to use, the true. So, we'll just have to see. Uh, I don't have high hopes for Armenia. They're literally in one of the most... Uh, I don't know what to call it, but it's definitely the worst starting position in the game, probably. Um, actually, no, I'll say the second worst starting position, because this right here, th this right here is the worst. Luckily, no one's going to pop out of here. Uh, the closest one is Palestine, and I think they're north enough. No, not Palestine. Uh, Lebanon. Lebanon's the no most northern of the small states. Um, they might be fine. Lebanon and Syria. I, I don't know how I feel about their chances. They're probably going to get obliterated. Uh, yeah, they probably are. And Armenia, Georgia, Azerbaijan. But they're all dead. I'll give them probably slightly larger borders than what they actually have. And it's probably not going to help them at all. So, we're going to see if Armenia can survive. Uh, I did give them a lot of mill ideas. And... Uh, yeah, a lot of mill ideas. Attrition for enemies and fort defense. Will it be enough? Probably not. Uh, they can probably conquer a lot of their smaller neighbors as long as they can get some allies, but... Also, I gave them a 666. Uh, I just kind of went all in. Because if Armenia can't win like this, they, they're, they're, there's no way they can win. So... Good luck, Armenia but your doom is definitely coming. The current year is 1446, only two years after the start of the game, and Armenia is already getting jumped on by QQ. Kara Quinlu has decided that it was going to beat up Armenia with the help of its vassals. I did give Armenia right off the bat good um, attrition bonus and fort defense, so we'll see if they can put that to good use here, beating back Kara Quinlu. But I have my doubts on whether Armenia can truly accomplish what they need to to win. Beyond that, though, um, QQ also has a couple of vassals that they can call upon, and we'll just see how that goes down. QQ also warned them before they invaded, so. Like, warn them by, like, you can't attack anyone that borders us, type deal thing. Did not warn about the invasion. The invasion happened suddenly and very drastically. Beyond that, I wouldn't be surprised if Armenia got full sieged, or at least completely wiped out. I mean, let's be honest here. They don't stand too much of a chance, and I'm just waiting for their end. So we'll see. If Armenia can truly survive, or will the armies of QQ bring them down? Three years into the game, it is 1447. 
and Armenia with extra borders is dead. It took them three years. Three years for QQ to just walk in and defeat an Armenia that I specifically chose for defense. Three years. <laughs> so, Armenia has officially been full annexed by Kara Quinlu, and it's over. Uh, this is a very short episode, and I hope everyone has a great day. Goodbye.